Good morning everybody. My name's Pete Morgan. Welcome to Look Lean Roll. Look Lean Roll has developed from a process that was originally instigated by the American Air Force. They spent millions and millions of dollars training their fast jet pilots how to, um, how to travel at uh, hundreds of miles an hour in the air and they got a little bit peeved when they found that they were losing so many of them on their motorbikes, recreational riding at weekends. This, the process that they've developed has been extremely successful. So we know it's got a good pedigree and uh, it's been very successful for us over the last three years. Today we are all about trying to give you the techniques and the methodology to improve your braking and um, your cornering capability and understanding some of the physics as to why it works so, so well on motorbikes and indeed is the only real way of seriously changing direction on your motorbike. So if you'd like to get your bike, you will line up basically across the, the start gate over there, all right? Look Lean Roll course, which is currently held at North Weald Airfield, is our method of teaching people to formalise a process which enables them to control their motorcycle in uh, an environment that we are able to control here under uh, good conditions. We have a very, very good surface for motorcycles to, uh, to run on, and we are trying to give them, in fact, we do give them the physics and the uh, method of application which will uh, allow them to control their counter steering or latterly it's called positive steering to help them get around bends in a controlled and a much more uh, efficient manner. The vast majority of riders we find don't necessarily understand how their bikes go around their corner. They know that they do go around the corner because they make them go around the corner, but what they don't understand is how it happens. The physics that are involved in it are actually very complicated, but what we do is to give them a simple explanation. And so many riders go away from here now understanding why their bikes go around the corner and, in fact, how they can more effectively make them go around corners. Uh, my name is Jeremy Howe. I'm, I'm here because I'm uh, trying to learn a bit more. I think uh, it's always good to uh, try and pick up more tips and guidance and uh, at the end of the day the more knowledge we have hopefully the safer we are on the road. Braking I found uh, a little bit sort of nerve-wracking to start with. I'm, I'm always sort of cautious about whether I'm going to lock up the bike. Um, obviously uh, I've got the ABS but um, you still sort of worry about it but um, braking went fine. I was actually stopping at a good distance so I was happy with that. Just done the, uh, the, the small cones with this sort of slalom attempt which again uh, a good indication of how to uh, learn the, uh, the, the, the the steering round these. Uh, steering is probably the wrong word for it. Uh, <laughs> doing the counter steering is probably the more correct approach. Um, and getting the hang of doing that and, and getting more confidence, building up from a slow speed, getting a little bit faster, spreading the uh, the markers out a bit, and uh, getting a better understanding of the reactions of the bike to the, the actions that you put into it. Really. I think uh, it's always what you're trying to achieve is always to get a bit more confidence. I think the more confidence you have as a rider, the more you're uh, in a better position to tackle what the world throws at you. So um, I think I was reasonably confident beforehand. I think everything like this you do gives you that extra bit of confidence. <laughs> I'm still on the bike, which is always good news. Um, I know, I think from the point of view of, of understanding what the bike can do. I mean, I've had this bike for three years now, I'm very happy with it, but it's always um, when you get into this sort of situation, it's not the sort of situation you encounter on the road every day, so you're actually getting an understanding of what your bike will do in, in more difficult situations uh, and how it will react to, to what you put into it, really. My name's Angela Baird, and I am a member of HBAM, and I've just came along today because I was interested in finding more about the course. It's been fantastic, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I've learned to apply techniques that I already knew about, um, but more consciously applying them um, and really thinking about what I'm doing 
um, and I've, I've, I can massively feel the benefits today already. So I've been learning about counter steering and um, I can apply that to my everyday situation so if there's any kind of obstruction on the road I can quickly move around it. Um, also when I'm cornering, if there's any obstruction there then I can just um, sort of tweak the machine a little bit and I'll be able to go around the corner a, a lot better and a lot safer. Um, it's taken a little while, um, I knew of the technique but to actually have to consciously think about it whilst you're doing it um, it's a bit more of a challenge, but then as, as the days progressed, I can really feel the technique coming through and getting much more um, smoother, more progressive. Hi, I'm uh, Graham Mudd, I'm a member of HBAM. Uh, I've just come on today's course just to uh, brush up on some old skills. You, know, you don't get to do this sort of thing very often, and uh, you know, it's all important to keep, keep practicing, keep learning new things because that's the sort of thing that makes you uh, better on the road, makes you a safer rider.